Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamzat Shumayev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dated to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamzat Shumayev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not... Representing Sydney, Australia, he was born in New Zealand. Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors Kibayev. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Robert the Reaper. All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here we go with round one, and let us see where Robert Whitaker is at this stage of his career. Most of the fans believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is still elite. He's always been a well-rounded fighter. The focus, the aspiration remains on the UFC world title, but a lot of wars in this guy's career, of course, with Yoel Romero and others back in the day. How much fight is left in the dog? We find out right now as Robert Whitaker tries to get off to a good start. Combination there. If you are teaching an up and coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hamza Chimai. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the doors. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. Starting to get deep. He said he's going to get the finish. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Whitaker. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Whitaker gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's guy. Beat his leg up. Single. All right, so an early takedown is true. So nice execution there, and perhaps an opportunity to get that patented ground and pound going for him. This is where he's the best. He's one of the best ground and pound fighters we've seen in the UFC. He's gotten there early. Let's see if he can take full advantage of it. In the half guard. Oh, oh, good defense, yes. Two minutes have gone by. Oh, getting the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Whitaker gets back up again. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. All right, he's 
been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just touch, 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 and then boom, sit down on that hook. He's going to be trying to find it again. You can see him setting up his opponent, trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top. Oh, unable to find the target with that hook shot. Under two minutes now to go in round one. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the hook. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go good. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let off the hook like that. Again, shoots for a takedown, not there once again. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Nice kick landed there by Chimaya. Oh, huge connection on the right hand by Robert Whittaker. That is his strike of choice, right? Robert Whittaker is a guy that wants to wear you down, get in your face, make you work and hustle because he knows that when you're exhausted, he's feeling much better than you are. Effective use of the jab there by Whitaker. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Nice work here on the clinch by Hamza Chimai. Twenty seconds left. Looking to land the leg kick now. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. DC, one of the best rounds of the year. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that's... Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man put some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185 pound woman. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, that strike to the body, man. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Takedown defense is there. Oh, high kick. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single tower. Takedown defense holds up. Switch the lens to the bottom. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Quick jab. And it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Nice double leg takedown attempt there. And you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence, but it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Whitaker. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. You need to work while standing up. It's work. This is where he wants to be. Grab the wrist. Grab the wrist. Go around the 
so the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse, and you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They work very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Oh, man. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well. Oh, oh he might get finished here. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Huge left hand. Oh, and he defends another takedown here. I'm not sure when frustration sets in for the wrestler, but been uphill sledding thus far. Well, he thought that he'd be able to secure these takedowns, and you can see him getting frustrated every single time this balanced fighter defends one. That's off to the balanced fighter. Though. He knew it was in front of him, and he prepared himself accordingly to defend these takedown attempts. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Shimaev's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. And the horn sounds on round two. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, that strike is blocked. The counter with the inside leg kick is not. Nice job by Robert Whitten. Swing and a miss with that punch by Chimaya. It's those leg kicks that's eating them alive. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Go. Whitaker's eye is starting to swell shut. Chimaev gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but the strikes are useful from the bottom. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. Whitaker's in half guard now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. 
He's got to start throwing now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Shumayev's right back to the full mount here. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab or pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Gotta be very careful there. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Mm, that was nice. She might back in full mount. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Good work from the top here by Hamza Chimai. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Chimaev has got full mount now. 30 seconds to go. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut, and it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. Whitaker's in half goal. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Take a deep breath and relax. You're not defending yourself. This guy can hurt you. You've got to be smart. This isn't the way we trained in the gym. Keep your hands up. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Not there. Beautiful lead kick is good there by Hamza Chimai. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Well, he has been nothing if not masterful on the feet this evening, and a lot of his effectiveness has been because of that jab. He established it early, and then right over the top, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Nice defense to block the elbow. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Effective jab there by Whitaker. Great timing on that takedown. 
He's got to be careful here. Nice shot there by the jam. Oh, to the mount. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Shimaev's going for an arm here. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That was tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded and so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Chimaev. Well, some high-level grappling here. The takedowns, the ground control. He seemingly has mastered all of the little nuances when it comes to keeping Chimaev's trying to lock up on a submission now. This is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. on the straight right hand. Shimaev's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen. He's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate after exiting the clinch. Great timing on that double leg. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. One that next down simply based on he's putting up submission attempts, but they're weak. You defended every single one of them, but you're not being aggressive. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was Ready that fight? big strike to the head Ready. that landed that Go. put him on wobbly legs. And then survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Kamzachi Maya gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he is recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. And immediately gets the underhook. Try to establish that jab. Oh, that is it! Pops up to my head. One and done! Holy!
why we now go inside the Octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Moore's combined. All right, thumbs up.